In this video, I'm going to talk about my 9 foot 7 piece 5 weight spin fly rod. Spin fly rods, which can handle either a fly reel or a spinning reel, are a relatively rare phenomena because up until my recent patented handle design improvement, they didn't work too well. For example, the reel might fall off when fighting a big fish. Ah! He got away, that was a nice fish. I've spent a lot of time fishing a lot of places with a variety of spin fly rods, and at this point, I and my custom rod builder have become the world's foremost experts in spin fly rod design. So I thought it might be helpful if I share some of my experience with various spin fly rods so people can better choose a spin fly rod that works well for them. This is also a good excuse to show some of the highlights of the many wonderful places I've fished in the past few years. This 9 foot 5 weight 7 piece spin fly rod is made from a graphite fly rod blank. I would describe the graphite material to be of average intermediate modulus quality. It is a fast action rod and the 7 pieces probably make it a little stiffer than the average fast action rod due to the fact that rods tend not to bend at the joint intersections. At first glance, the rod appears to be the standard black, but when the sun shines on it, the rod takes on an emerald green hue. I'm not sure how they do that. Emerald green signifies abundance, prosperity, and growth. When a fishing rod is emerald green, it reminds me of the many deep emerald green pools I've fished and the more pristine trout streams. When fished as a fly rod, it is ideal for a wide stream where long casts are required. The response is fast. It feels like it obeys my every command. I like that. The downside of a fast action rod is it might not roll cast as well as something with a little bit more flexibility. It might also not cast as well in short distances on a light load. The one inch diameter cork handle gives a little more surface area than traditional handles, which I believe improves casting accuracy and reduces fatigue. When fishing with a spinning reel attached, this rod is a real rocket launcher. It casts about 20% farther than a 7 foot ultralight spinning rod. When fishing a wide river or a lake, that extra distance can be very useful. For a rod like this, I don't recommend using less than 1 8 ounce lures, although my tests show it'll still outcast a traditional spinning rod for a 1 16 ounce lure. The problem with fishing such light lures on a rod like this, because it is somewhat of a stiff, fast action rod, is there's usually very little bend in the rod during the retrieve. In fact, my tests show you actually get a longer casting distance on a 1 16th ounce lure using a 7.5 foot 4 weight spin fly rod compared to a 9 foot 5 weight spin fly rod. Also, I like to have a little more bend in the rod tip during the retrieve to better indicate the location of my lure. When I know where everything is during the retrieve, I can make adjustments so the lure and fly take the best path through the water. This rod is a little stiff, and sometimes when casting upstream and reeling back, there isn't enough tension to get a sufficient bend in the rod, so that's an area where the rod could be better. If you fish lures heavier than 1 8 ounce, or spinners, which usually produce a lot of resistance, then this isn't as much of an issue. Another minor issue I have with the stiffness is there isn't as much bend as I would like when reeling in smaller fish. I still usually get the fish in, but a little more shock absorption makes it easier to keep a tight line and reduce hook throws, whether fly fishing or spin fishing. One of the objectives of a spin fly rod is to offer maximum versatility, to work effectively in as many conditions as possible. While being a 7 piece rod gives a little more stiffness than I would like, it also makes the rod more compact during travel, and I have found that extremely useful on several important trips I have made to distant fishing destinations. This was my rod of choice when traveling in a small plane to reach a remote section of Montana's Middle Fork Flathead River. It was also my rod of choice during a couple difficult hiking trips into Colorado's remote Gunnison Canyon. You can imagine if my shirt got all ripped up, what that trail would have done to a protruding 9 foot 4 piece rod. I have lost a number of rods in the past, 
due to entanglements with tree branches while hiking through the woods. So having a seven piece rod is a real benefit for those types of situations. And as you can see, I ended up getting some nice fish. A five weight fly rod blank should be able to handle a 10 pound line. I'm using 10 pound spider wire line and this is a big fish I've got on. Without my patented improvement to the traditional handle design, my spinning reel would probably have fallen off during the fight. That's exactly what happened when I would fight a nice fish before the improvement was invented. But with the improvement, the result is success. If you would like a spin fly rod of your own, send me an email and I'll get you in touch with the same guy who makes my spin fly rods. See you on the stream.